the ladies' man. I was, you know, if you needed advice or anything like that, you came to me, okay? And just to kind of prove that a little bit, I'm going to put a picture of me in high school. <laughs> with myself because no one, even the chess team wouldn't play with me. So, um, I was kind of embarrassing. But, uh, all right, we can take that off. I mean, the part, the glasses, okay. So, but I wanted to kind of like, since we're talking about dating, let's, you know, I want to process it through my journey a little bit, the way I've, I've grown up here. And uh, I want to tell you about my first date. Can I do that? Yeah. So, all right. So, I finally get a date with this girl named Jackie. And Jackie was the hot lead cheerleader, okay? So I was like, whoo, I'm out of my league, this is awesome. So I'm like, all right, so we're gonna go on a date. All right, cool, which was hanging out at her parents' house. So, uh, so we'd finally get a date, like, all right, we go through the, the movie selection, and we actually picked Wayne's World. That was like one of my favorite movies, and I'm like, yes. So we pop some popcorn, we're sitting on the couch, and I'm like, okay, okay, I gotta make my move. If we're gonna seal the deal, I gotta make my move. So I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't, want to, I don't know what to do. So I'm like, okay, think through it. You know, think through it. Oh, well, by default, we'll go for the yawn extension here. All right. So I'm like, all right, all right. So I think about it. I'm like, all right, make it three steps. You know, step one. Uh, step two, the extension, and step three is to seal the deal. Okay. So I'm like, okay, stick to the steps. Stick to the steps. So I go. What I didn't realize at the time was there was a table behind the couch that had all these porcelain dolls on it. Oh. So I'm like, okay, okay, step one, uh, step two, and at this point my arm had a seizure. Went, no, no, no! <laughs> my immediate reaction was to freak out, so I retract my hand, hitting the popcorn, sending it everywhere. I'm like, uh, needless to say, I didn't get a second date. So, several months go by, I'm like, okay, we can do this, we can do this, we're, we're going to do, I'm talking to myself, I'm, I'm giving myself a little pep talk, we can do it. So I finally land another date, and she's like, hey, what are you like, you know, come over, I'll hang out, watch a movie, and I'm like, oh crap. So I'm like, alright, we can do this, we can do this. So when I go over, we're watching a movie, I'm like, okay, lessons learned, don't overextend, okay. <laughs> Work your way through the steps. Work your way through the steps. So I'm like, okay, it's funny, palms, and go. <sighs> WHAM! <laughs> I totally blocked her in the face. <laughs> so need, needless to say, no date number two. So, isn't dating painful? You're like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Like, I'm having so much trouble. And it's like, we all want to get to a point in a healthy relationship. And that's one of the things that um, I always ask growing up, I'm like, is there something that God tells us about how to date, you know, is there like, oh, manual, but there, there's not a whole lot that, you know, that stands out there, but I did find a, a verse in Matthew that I thought was a great principle we could kind of pull into our own lives, so if you will be up here on the, uh, the screen, in a moment, Matthew 7, all right, it says, therefore anyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who builds his house on the rock. The rain came down, and she, oh, the rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall because its foundation was on the rock. Okay, now. Uh, but everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put, uh, does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain came and blew, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. And it fell with a great crash. When I first read this, I thought about a story I heard when I grew up. The three little pigs. So piggy number one built his house out of straw. So, uh, piggy number two built his house out of yeah. piggy number three made his house out of brick. Yeah. yeah, we rock, right? Ooh. Um, the microphone. Um, but it's one of the things. It's like you know, the smart little piggy built his, built his house on a rock because he saw the errors of the other two piggy brothers, right? And that's why I was like, you know what? That, you know, that is supposed to correspond with our, uh, our spirituality, but can't this work in a lot of different areas of our life? And I was like, this could totally work in dating. So I was like, I don't know about you, I was kind of like a Lego freak growing up, <laughs> even up to that picture. But uh, we'll, we'll 
we'll be honest. So, put that down there. No one's going to use that on Facebook. But, uh, uh, I'm still awkward. That's awesome. So I play with Legos and record sets and they're like little Lincoln Logs, right? So I was like, you know what? Let's build a house, okay? So I'm going to put a house together here and I want you guys to tell me if I'm doing it right. So, um, all right, let's start off with this one because this looks like a corner piece, doesn't it? It looks like it works. So, um, uh, you always need like a chimney, so the chimney goes there, and then we got to fill in the blanks, right? What? It's not wrong. All right, it's not right. All right. Let's try it again. All right. So I always love those unique, you know, contemporary houses. So let's do it like that, and then you need a chimney. Not gonna, all right. Dang it. All right, let's, let's, let's listen to the verse, all right? Let's, let's see what it actually has to say here. So if we start with the rock, obviously our relationship's going to be based on Jesus, all right? So we got that going on. And then what is the number one interaction? And that's supposed to read this. All right. What is the number one act interaction between people? And I'm going to help you out here. You guys ready for this? Oh, you guys are so smart. I love it. Now, obviously, you can't see that because we've got other things on it. But friendship, and it's one of those things I started looking at, like, wow, friendship has a really big impact on how you date. You start evaluating, like, um, you know, is this person loyal? Are they respectful? Do they communicate with me? You know, what are the things that are important? You know, like, you know, you have to have that good communication. You have to have that uh, good interaction, that trust and integrity and stuff like that. But you have to have stuff in common, right? I'm still kind of a dork, I'll be honest, all right? I love zombie movies. Uh, I think they're cheesy and hilarious, and half the time they're like, what were you thinking when you made that? And that's awesome. So it's one of those, I'm like, where am I going to find a girl that likes zombie movies? So uh, I went a serious long and far, and I've actually found someone that they, they, let, they actually interact with my life, and they're like, dude, let's pull, you know? You know, we're not watching Bridges, Madison County, or, you know, uh, Meet the Girls, or whatever. We're actually watching zombie movies on the weekend. So I'm like, yes! I actually found out one of her big uh, interests is, in movies is vampire movies. So in a weird sci-fi way, we kind of have a connection. So, But here's something else that I realized, too, with friendships, is that um, we'll kind of go back. I was actually engaged at one point to somebody else, and... Uh, I really believed in that relationship. I was really excited about it. And believe it or not, all right, just some picture this, mental picture. Some doc shoes, right? You know, some grandpa doc shoes that slip on. Um, some khaki pants and a nice collared, you know, polo shirt. I wore that every day. Does that look like that? What like who I am? Is that what's? I don't know what you call this. I don't know if this is like urban hick or. I'm too cheap to buy pants, or but this is me. You know, this is who I am, and uh, the person I'm dating now actually lets me be who I want to be. And it's one of those. It's like uh, part of a friendship and part of a relationship is all about interacting with somebody so you become a better person. It's not so you become somebody else. And during that time when I was engaged to that person, I became somebody else, somebody that they wanted me to, because I wanted to be in that friendship or that relationship so much. So that goes to something else, the second stage of our MTV pimping crib here, Woo! Yeah. right? This is the relationship. So, and this is, you know, an awesome thing because someone can be there for you, you know, if you have to go through a hard time or a funeral or something. But also it's cool because they'll like call you up and be like, hey, let's go play frisbee golf because I want to play hooky from work. I'm like, yes. <laughs> so, but it's one of those things It's like, I realized this, and, you know, growing up is, uh, there's a lot of maturity that's required in a relationship. I'm like, oh my gosh. You know, I actually have to start thinking about somebody other than myself. Um, so I was like, man, what does that look like? You know, my whole time I was looking at conflict resolution as if I win, everything's happy. <laughs> so it's one of those, it's like, you know what, you got to go through those processes and see how both people can win, right? And then, ready for it? Ready for it? You got marriage and the baby carriage and all that stuff, right? <laughs> awesome stuff. Now here's the thing. Don't you need a good friendship for a relationship? Right? You need a good relationship for a good marriage, right? 